Take a walk into a rosy place for children and you'll find a special fish tank that holds a lot of meaning. Right, whenever you walk in a rosy place, you're in this beautiful rotunda, there's a beautiful mural on it, and that really sums up what a rosy place is. So it's called No Barrier Reef. So for a lot of these kids, they may face barriers in the general community, but when they're here, um, we drop those barriers. We tailor all our care to um, what these kids enjoy and um, just make this um, a fun place for them. A rosy place for children is a licensed hospital, but it certainly doesn't feel that way offering respite and sleepover services to medically fragile children. A rosy place for children is an amazing place. Um, and what we do here is respite. So we provide respite for families that are caring for medically fragile children. So um, the kids come and stay with us for short breaks. It can be um, a day or two up to 10 days. And um, those are pre-scheduled and um, the families have that opportunity for the child to come and stay with us mom and dad or whoever is the caregiver, sometimes it's grandma, um, get some rest. That's often what they say they're going to do is the rest. Um, or an opportunity to do something that they can't do with a fragile child. Um, go to uh, games, um, go somewhere with their spouse. Um, it's an opportunity for them to reconnect with other family members. Um, and then the kids get to come here and have what we um, intend to be a really awesome experience. So we want to find the kid inside, pass the equipment, pass the condition, um, and really let them have a, an experience that any child would enjoy, um, regardless of what their uh, you know, situation might be. So we put a lot of effort and thought into that. So a medically fragile child is a child that requires either some sort of equipment or some sort of nursing or extra care for their daily routine. So that can be, um, you know, a G-tube or in medical equipment for feeding. It can be a tracheostomy, a ventilator. It can be a child that's up in ambulatory and running around and maybe has a seizure disorder. So it can encompass a lot of different diagnoses and types of kids. So, well, we are a licensed hospital, but um, we really want to keep that on the down low here. So, because these kids have typically been in the hospital sometimes a lot, sometimes quite frequently. And so when they come here, we want them to receive the level of care that they would have in a hospital, but in a very um, child-friendly environment. Um, so we, the, ho the house was built to look like a home. The bedrooms are designed to look like a bedroom in a home. And when the kids come and stay with us, their, their belongings are unpacked and put in drawers. Um, they aren't, don't spend a lot of time in their bedroom unless that's what they want, but typically they're, our living room and our kitchen are the busy places in the house just like they would be at home. So they, um, that's, a, that's very unusual. We also stick very closely to their home routine. So rather than bringing them here and putting them into a hospital schedule, um, we stick to their schedule. If they wake up in the morning and they watch Dora for an hour, then that's what they can do here too. And we just keep their, uh, their home routine and we find that that really makes the transition for them very comfortable and easy. Um, we stick to their med schedule at home, their treatment schedule, all of that. Here at A Rosie Place, we're all about making things fun for the kids here. So we do art therapy with the kids while they're here. We like to send each child home with an art project if that's something that they enjoy. Um, and we use whatever they're able to use to move. So we use hand prints, we use feet, we use fingerprints. Um, we do collective works of art where we make things together as well. Um, so art is a big thing for our kids and a good way for them to express themselves if they enjoy that. We use a lot of music as well, so either listening to music, we have handheld um, musical instruments as well. Um, so whatever different sensory um, things that kids enjoy, we like to do that too. Early on, um, when they were planning this place and dreaming, dreaming about what they could do and what they'd like to do, that was something that had come up, that they wanted to build a place where a medically fragile child could come, but that any child would want to stay in. So in a, in a sense, making the sibling jealous, not in a negative way, of course, but making it something that the kids would want to come to. Um, and so I think we've done that. We've, uh, I've, I've had siblings when kids are coming in for admissions, you know, say, can we stay too? Or can I stay? And um, they can't, but that's, that says a lot. I think we've, we've achieved our goal in that the, the sibling would look around and say, hey, this place looks fun. I would want to stay here too. So um, that was awesome. 
I think what's fun about a rosy place is that you never necessarily know what your day is going to entail. You know, we may be playing with Nerf guns, we may be doing bubbles, um, we may be doing water play outside, we may be swinging. So um, I think the unknown and just, um, I mean, it excites the kid in me too, getting to play um, with these kids and play squirt guns and do all these fun things with them and um, just to really enjoy the time with them. They're getting to be independent. They're starting to have some independence from their dependency on their family and letting someone else do those things for them. So it's good for them. And we see them sort of blossom in that and realize that there are other people that can love them and care for them and make friends and have these um, opportunities. So as the kids become more familiar with coming here, I mean, they come through those front doors with big smiles and ready to go. And they go to the room that is familiar to them, that they know is their room, and they identify it that way. And so that's, that's when I really feel like, okay, we did it.